looks like some of us were quick to write this season off as a lost cause. Isn't it funny how fast opinions change when Epic drops a few surprises, huh? It's like the script flipped overnight. One moment, it's being compared to frickin' Umbrella Academy. And the next? Everyone's acting like they knew it had potential all along. If you haven't caught wind yet, Shuri's Claws made their debut in Fortnite, adding a unique f***ing edge to not just melee combat, but more importantly, mobility. The best part about these claws is their supercharge ability. Once that purple bar maxes out, pressing LT unleashes a 20 second power boost. Shuri's Claws not only ramp up your melee damage, but also grant you infinite stamina and a significant boost in movement speed, letting you dart around the battlefield with unmatched agility. Now here's a crucial detail. If you unequip Shuri's Claws during the 20 second supercharge, the timer doesn't stop. However, the effects only apply when the claws are equipped. This means timing your switches between using the claws for movement and swapping to a weapon for dealing damage becomes a bit tricky. Mastering this balance is key to maximizing their potential. Use the claws to dart around the battlefield, then quickly switch to a weapon to finish the job. You might be wondering, why bother switching to a weapon? Aren't claws already a weapon? While I find the claws to be a bit underwhelming, when it comes to raw attack power. Where they truly shine is in the movement department. The mobility boost they provide is absolutely top tier. I've also found that Sherry's Claws pair exceptionally well with Flow Fizz. When you combine the Claws movement boost with the Flow Fizz effect, your pounce attacks send you much further and higher, allowing you to dash around the map like a blur. To build up your supercharge, you need to have Shuri's Claws equipped. And here's a tip. Sprinting with the Claws equipped actually charges them up even faster. In a recent match on Loot Island, my team was dropping fast. Instead of jumping in to help right away, I spot an opportunity to charge my Claws in the middle of battle. It was definitely a risky move, but if you time it right, the payoff can be huge. Just a heads up, it's smart to have a supercharge ready before you get into a fight. Overall, Sherry's Claws are a blast to use. They strike a great balance between fluid, precision movement, and the more straightforward, linear mobility that jetpacks provide. But I want to know what you guys are rocking with. Are you all about the claws? Sticking with the jetpack? Or maybe even running both for maximum versatility. Drop your thoughts in the comments.